Check, check, check. Is this working? I can't tell. We the people know that our electoral process has been corrupted. The corruption has become so established that it got comfortable. So comfortable that it got lazy. So lazy that you got caught. Yeah! No more voter suppression! You want to talk about respect, sir? You have no respect. Sir. Mr. Park. Sir. Okay. Zero. It seems to me that it doesn't have to be this complicated. I might be missing something, but y'all working really hard to make this really complicated. And in prefacing my question, I'd like to refer to what President Kennedy said, that if a free society cannot help the many who are poor, it cannot save the few who are, who are rich. And to say that, well, we are, he said, that if a free society cannot help the many who are poor, it cannot save the few who are, who are rich. And to say that, well, we are, he said, that if a free society cannot help the many who are poor, it cannot save the few who are, who are rich. And to say that, well, we are, he said, that if a free society cannot help the many who are poor, cannot save the few who are rich. And to say that well we are the same that if a free society cannot help the many who are poor, it cannot save the few who are rich. And to say that well we are the same that if a free society cannot help the many who are poor, it cannot save the few who are rich. And to say that well we are the same that if a free society cannot help the many who are poor, it cannot save the few who are rich. And to say that well we are the same that if a free society cannot help the many who are poor, it cannot save the few who are, who are rich. And to say that well, we are the same the people that if a free society cannot help the many who are poor, they cannot save the few who are, who are rich. And to say that well, we are. And when there is a large sector of the people who are hurting, perhaps it is the responsibility of this government, of the people, to help out. My question is, my question is, is regarding how free are the poor. How free are the unemployed and how free are those people who are disadvantaged? And so in reference to that, what is government's role? I'm, I'm glad to see one vote for the farm. People have responsibility. This building doesn't have responsibility. You and I have responsibility. People have responsibility. Well, what, what, what is the number one thing Americans can do uh, to save uh, America's future? Well, I think uh, one of the key things is that people have to start talking to each other. You know, before people get divorced, what always happens? They stop talking. And then the next thing you know, and then, and then the next, and then the next, thing, and then the next thing, the next thing you know, their partner, their partner is the double incarnate. Is the double incarnate. But this is what we're doing in this nation right now. Now. Get talking and therefore not actually solving our problems. My mom and dad are baby boomers and I love them a lot. But their generation gobbled up the best economy in American history. Their generation gobbled up the best economy in American history. Their generation gobbled up the best economy in American history. Their generation gobbled up the best economy in American history. Their generation gobbled up the best economy in American history. Their generation gobbled up the best economy in American history. Their generation gobbled up the best economy in American history. Their generation gobbled up the best economy in American history. Their generation gobbled up the best economy in American history. Their generation gobbled up the best economy in American history. Well, not the bones for the rest of us. 
They burned a lot of cheap fossil fuels, filled the atmosphere with heat-trapping gases, and never paid the cost of averting catastrophic global warming. Yes, or helping their grandchildren adapt to a warmer world. They racked up a lot of federal debt. Retirements will strain the government's safety net, but instead of saving money to prepare for that, they voted themselves tax cuts. Now, because they make up America's biggest generational voting bloc, politicians refuse to ask them to set things right. If take an idea that nobody supports, literally nobody, and it has about a 30% chance of becoming federal law. Now, take an incredibly popular idea, the most popular idea this country has ever seen, and there's also about a 30% chance of it becoming law. This means that the number of American voters for or against any idea has no impact on the likelihood that Congress will make it. The number of American voters for or against any idea has no impact on the likelihood that Congress will make it. The number of American voters for or against any idea has no impact on the likelihood that Congress will make it. The number of American voters for or against any idea has no impact on the likelihood that Congress Congress will make a number of American voters for or against any idea has no impact on the likelihood that Congress will make a number of American voters for or against any idea has no impact. Becky Chan, the martial artist and actor, apparently had an interview in China where he had a pretty noteworthy quote. He said that America is the most corrupt country in the world. Have we gone too far? Do you think that America can come back? from where we are today. America is America is America is the most corrupt country in the world. That America can come back from where we are today. That, that, that America that America can that America can come back. That America that America can come back from where we are today. That America can come back from where we are today. That America can come back and is undermining is American democracy. Climate change is real, it is caused by human activity, and we have a moral responsibility to transform our energy system away from fossil fuel to energy efficiency and sustainable energy and by human activity and by human activity and we have a my human my human this planet a habitable planet for our children and our grandchildren it seems to me that instead of building more jails and providing more incarceration maybe just maybe we should be putting money into education and jobs for our kids you have to tax so putting money into education and jobs for our kids you have to tax so putting money into education and jobs for our kids. You have to tax. So putting money into education and jobs for our kids. You have to tax. So putting money into education and jobs for our kids. You have to tax. So putting money into education and jobs for our kids. You have to tax. So putting money into education and jobs for our kids. 
you have to tax. So putting money into education and jobs for our kids. You have to tax. So putting money into education and jobs for our kids. You have to tax. Me, I make a lot of money. Did you know that, Sam? I kind of guess. Yeah, I make a lot. So, uh, what is my income tax rate under your administration? What would it be? It'll be more than it is right now. No, give me a number. Give me a. Uh, you know, no, I'm not going to give you a number. It's not. It'll be more than it is right now. It'll be more than it is right now. In its entirety, has been a loser. We got a whole lot of people in jail who should not be in jail. Who shouldn't be I in think, jail? Somebody who sells well, heroin? Somebody who sells no, crack? Somebody who sells heroin should be in jail. Okay, good. Time. Somebody who's smoking a little marijuana should not but be in jail. there's not too many of them. One family owns more wealth than the bottom 30%. 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 think the largest, the wealthiest family in this country, the Walton family, should have employees, large numbers of employees, who depend upon government health, employees, Medicaid, who depend food upon stamps, government health, employees, health employees, Medicaid, who depend upon government health, 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 employees, Medicaid, who depend upon of their insurance status. This political movement is about. I love you too. Um, I miss the fact that when I'm in a car or uh, at home, there are not all kinds of buzzes and noises going off, making me a nervous wreck. I love the fact that in this room, somebody disagrees with me. They say, Bernie, you're full of shit. I'm going to vote against you. Yeah, fine. I love it. I love people thinking. 
you know, what kind of future they want. Off brand for a democratic socialist to live in a mansion like the White House. <laughs> you should know. And one of them is, there is absolutely no evidence to support the statement that we're the greatest country in the world. We're seventh in literacy, 27th in math, 22nd in science, 49th in life expectancy, 178th in infant mortality, third in median household income, number four in labor force, and number four in exports. We lead the world in only three categories. Number of incarcerated citizens per capita, number of adults who believe angels are real, and defense spending. Where we spend more than 26 countries combined, 25 of whom are allies. Now, none of you nonetheless are, without a doubt, a member of the worst period generation, period ever, period. So when you ask what makes us the greatest country in the world, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So look out. First period, generation, period, ever, period. So when you ask what makes us the greatest country in the world, I don't know what the so fuck you're talking about. Period, generation, period, ever, period. So when you ask what makes us the greatest country, so look up. First period, generation, period, ever, period. So when you ask what makes us the greatest country, so look up. First period, generation, period, ever, period. So when you ask what makes us the greatest country, so look up. Period, generation, period, ever, period. So when you ask, what makes us the greatest country? So look out. Household income. First period, generation, period, ever, period. So when household income. Number four in labor force and number four in exports. We are citizens per capita. Number of adults who believe angels are real. In defense spending. We're spending more than the next 20 countries. Five of whom are allies. None of you nonetheless are without a doubt. the worst period, generation, period, ever. Period. When you ask. What makes us the greatest country in the world? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Number four in labor force and number four in. What the fuck you're talking about? What the fuck 
audience in black and white outfits, the first question that I ask myself is, what in God's name am I doing here? I love that you left-wing, liberal, libtard idiots out there. 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 Anyway, but wouldn't you rather have a good corporation? 